Okay, so what we have here is we have two two axis machines. Now they're powered by this ProTrack. And uh, I just turned it on so everything's at zero, but it's got like, you know, digital readout on the Z. You control the Z just like a bridge port, which is what this is. This is a sharp retrofitted with the ProTrack package which is the Y on the X axis. Now you'd note that this is how big the motor is. And this is the motor here. And this is the control box. Here you got power feed. You got jug. forward backwards you can control the speed with the override and you can do programs you can do a position drill bolt hole you can do frame pocket, you can do rectangular profile, circular profile, rectangular pocket, all kinds of stuff. And you can do mill position, you know, go from this point to that point and then do arcs and all that. Now this two axis machine, like I said, is a sharp, which is the same thing as this one. The exact same thing. And this is the original one. This is a sharp, but this is a three axis. Now this is an analam. And they don't make them like this anymore. I mean, really, they don't. They uh, stopped making them about 10 years ago. But it's still good. It's uh, sharp. It's retrofitted with a three-axis package. It's got the Z. That's an add-on. It's got the motor here. The motor here. It's got a power box here for the, the spindle, which is uh, one of those digital things. You can control the speed on it. And it's got this control box. Now, we had these two sharps retrofitted, and they had a big control box right here. And now they got this little box right here. So you can make a program here, conversational. Or you can make a program in the CAD system and then insert it into this. These are all the programs that I've made. You too. You made it. And uh, it's got a UBS stick that you can take it from the CAD system and put it in here. 
and then the, uh, it runs the two axis, and then the, the quill is what you do manually. And it's really fast. You don't have to worry about Z height. If there's a problem, you just you bring the quill up, and uh, it's real fast. Now I got the... Uh, This adjustable arm for the coolant that I've showed on a different video. And I got this uh, switch here, extension off of the one back here so I don't have to keep reaching back there. I just moved it out here with a universal joint. I showed that on a different video too. So what we're doing here is we're doing these uh, cutouts on these boxes. We're uh, drilling and tapping holes and doing this cutout. And I did two. And I got one more to do. And we'll see if we can't show that. Yeah, so uh, here it is, almost 7.30 and... The CNC's over here aren't, aren't even turned on. Everybody over here talking. So anyway, what we did was we loaded the part this case, we got two two clamps on it. And we set the uh, edge finder. Got the front. Got this side, this side. Centered it. From the center and the front. So now we're going to load the program. So we'll go to mode, program it out, and it's number uh, 566 right there. Open. So we'll go to program, go to beginning, and we can look at it. Six holes. We'll go to run, start, press go, press go. And that's where the first hole goes. Now we can use this little button here too. We'll do a little dry run here. Okay, so we're good. So we're going to load the drill in there and do the same thing. Yeah, I got the uh, drill in there, so we're going to go ahead and drill these holes. They're uh, tapped holes. So I use my little adjustable spray. Push the button here.
That's it. Okay, so what we're doing here is a, we're tapping the holes. So I brought this into position and I brought the quill down. So I feed this down. This is an M4. So I feed that down. Tap that hole, bring this up. Get this guy out of here. Push the button. Go to the next one. Put that in there, bring the quill down. I can't do it with one hand. But same thing as drilling, but we're tapping. And uh, these guys still haven't uh, fired up the machines yet. Okay, we're gonna change the program to uh, number 567. This is a rectangular profile. It's gonna make two passes. It's gonna leave 40 thousandths for the second finish pass. I see the uh, front of this part is lower than the back of the part. <clears throat> so if I bring this over here, touch the top of the part, we X this, Z this out, and we go to the back, it's about 70 thousandths. Oh, 40. So what we're going to do is, uh, we're going to do this cutout. Forty thousand. See, as soon as I touch the top of this part in the back, it's forty thousand. So I'm gonna go down a hundred. that 
program. So, what did you call that? A five thing? axis? That was a four, a four axis. Four axis? You know, it's just kind of like, you know, like a video of like, I guess the new controls or... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. Anybody. Just little things. Sure. You know, like, yeah. Just like when you go try to find something, you know, you, you, you find it and it's, it's some little bit of thing, but it helps out. Yeah. It's like changing light bulb on a car, you know? Yeah. Some of those are different things, different things, different things. Yeah. 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 Y